Okay, the figure is done. I have just a couple more little things to put on him. Uh, since the last video, I've installed the lariat in his hand. Now these lariats in the old days were up to 60 feet long. Nowadays they're about 30, between 30 and 34 feet, 36 feet in length. Uh, this one is just about in scale with his body for being about 34 or 36 inches in length, which, uh, which is important to keep everything in order here. Now for the wire here, what I did, I coated it with uh, gun blowing, which turned it pretty dark, but not dark enough. And then I went back and colored it with uh, a, a very dark brown. What I'm going to do next, oh, and if you look here, I put the uh, loop, Hondo, right there. Uh, and when you thread this in here, you know, you got to make sure you thread it in there correctly or someone's going to come along and point it out to you. So, always check. Make sure you got things right. So anyway, what I'm going to do after a bit, I'm going to take this over to the paint station and I'm going to lightly dry brush it with some uh, mudstone, a real light neutral gray color, which will, you know, highlight that rope a lot more. Alrighty. The next thing I did was I glued his head on. I also gave him a stampede string here out of twisted wire and uh, it's held in place by well a couple holes up here in his hat and also if you see right there there's a brad decorative nail right there which uh, I drilled through the bead and it's anchored into his body so that's never going to come out of there. I glued his knife on in place his rifle is in place. I put this side on now that it's, you know, the rifle's been solidly placed in his hand. So that was done. And looking around here, I've got, been going over it real closely this morning, looking for, you know, any anything that needs corrected before uh, before I go any farther, which. I did. Oh, and I put two little drops of epoxy on his eyes, which really bring him to life. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give him a watch chain, and I'm going to give him a tag on his tobacco pouch, which is up here in his vest. And if you ever wonder why cowboys wore vests, it's because they have pockets all over them, and they, they need those pockets when you're sitting on a horse, you know, it's kind of hard to get into your pants pocket if you've got one when you're wearing chaps and you've got all this other gear on so a vest came in pretty handy and it's also kept them a little warm in colder weather okay so what we're going to do now is first up is make his little tobacco tag and I've got my uh, solder here and a piece of uh, flattened wire, which I'm going to dip here in the flux. And here's a little bitty piece of galvanized flashing, which uh, I'm going to solder that to. So there, I've got that. So now what I'll do is I'll take my needle nose pliers and grab it about right there. And I'll bend this back around like that. Okay? And then I'll snip it off about right there. Okay. 
Okay, well this, once I get her painted, will go right up there on his pocket. Okay? And I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay. Put this stuff away. Unplug my solder in there. So the next thing is to give him a watch chain. Now if you go down to Walmart in the women's jewelry section, you'll find all kinds of chains down there. And for the details, you know, they make big ones and little ones. And if you're lucky, your wife's jewelry drawer will have some real fine ones. These come in handy when you're doing a, you know, doing a figure, and there's my telephone. So, excuse me a moment. Anyway, what I like, I found this one, and it has a, it's a tarnished look to it, which is what I like. Some of these are just a little too bright, you know, like that one there. I don't, I don't think I'd put that one on this cowboy anyway. So what I want to do is, there's his squatch. So what I'm going to do is put this on there to where it droops just a little, about like that. Can't see nothing because of my fingers. So you take them away. All right. Let me see if I can fix this up. I'm going to droop it. Sort of about like that right there. To where, you know, it gives enough of an effect to where he'll be able to re remove it from his pocket and see what time it is, okay? So I want to snip this off about right there. So I'll take my snips. And there's the piece I'm going to use. Put these back. Got me some fine wire here. I'm going to cut me off a couple pieces. Thread them through there. Bend them double like that. Give them a twist or two. fingers aren't as nimble as young ones. Okay, do it on this one, same end. Not the same end, but the same same thing more or less. Give it a twist. Hmm, that one came out right even, but I don't need it that long. There, I got that right there. Okay. Now, with my drill, I'm going to need a bigger drill. Yeah. <laughs> Can't hold on 
me anything anymore. I'll put that one in there. Like that. So there he's got his watch chain. Now I'll put a couple drops of glue right there to hold that. Now what I want to do is while I'm here is go ahead and drill the hole for the uh, cigarette tag which will require a bigger drill. this thing in there so you can see basically what it looks like. That'll be painted white, and I'll put a little decoration on it to where it looks like it's got some lettering and stuff on it, okay? So let's see now. And I'll put all, you know, I'm going to take some photographs of this, uh, nice photographs. And we will, you'll be able to see a lot of these details a little better. So that's, that's going to do him. Now he is one. Fancy cowboy. Oh, time we got. One more thing here, I'll show you real quick. I'll squeeze me out some mudstone here. I don't take much. You find the dry brush. It's wet. It's wet. This takes a while, so I'm not going to show you the whole, doing the whole uh, rope because we'd be here all day. But you want to make sure you use a dry brush and uh, it'll, it, it'll take several applications to get that color up to the level that you want it to where it'll really show up good. And uh, you have to be careful when you do this because you don't want to you don't want to put too much paint on it because then your paint will fill up the little dark crevices in the rope and uh, it will pretty well ruin what you're trying to accomplish. But if you just take your time and do it, it makes that rope. It just makes that rope stand out that much more than it being dark. Now when I finish it'll even be lighter than that. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, I'll go ahead and paint that, glue these things in place to where they won't come out again, and he'll be ready for display. So, I hope you've enjoyed this project and uh, I'm glad it's over because it's taken me a, lot, a long time and ties you up when you're doing one of these video series. But he turned out really nice and he's going to make a great addition to a collector's collection. 
So until the next one, I'll talk to you later.